Moscow and then suddenly, poof, you disappeared. Uh, I wrote and told you I was going away to a resort in the mountains for a few weeks. Your letter did not tell me which resort. I'm sure I wrote you my address. No, nothing. You were only to be gone a few days. I didn't hear anything more until last week that you were finally coming home. Oh, forgive me, Marsha. My only excuse is that I was too removed, too captivated. Mountains, streams, wildflowers. It was glorious. I suppose I simply lost track of time. Olga suggested that I send you a telegram right away to tell you, but I said, no, that's too impersonal a way to tell her. Should have listened to Olga. Marsha, please accept this. Olga and I are married. We are husband and wife. What's done is done and cannot be undone. When do I have to leave? Incredible! Don't you knock. When I told Dr. Altshuler about this German treatment, he was appalled. Well, you should try it. And you too. This room is freezing. You'll catch pneumonia. Your infatuation with Olga's made you foolish. Stupid! Must you go? I, uh, left you a letter on the, on the piano. Some instructions. Nothing urgent. Just read it when you get a chance. Goodbye, sister. Look after our garden. We shall live through a long, long chain of days. We shall patiently bear the trials which fate sends us. And when our time comes, we shall die without a murmur. And there beyond the grave, we shall say that we have suffered, that we have wept, that life has been bitter to us, and God will have pity. And you and I shall see a life that is bright and lovely and beautiful. We shall hear the angels. We shall see all heaven lit with radiance. We shall see all earthly evil, all our sufferings, drowned in mercy, which will fill the whole world. And our life will become peaceful and gentle and sweet. <laughs>